Hello, this is Mr. Bourne, the math teacher from Minnesota, and this tutorial will show you how to find the x and y intercepts of a graph. You will learn how to graph a function and how to find the x and y intercepts. Okay, turn on your calculator and we're going to put in a function. Press the y equals key. And in the first available slot there, y1, you can put in this equation for an example. It's negative 16x squared plus 25x plus 6. Note the negative sign. This is different than the subtract key. Once you've got the equation in, press the keys zoom and 6. So here's what the graph looks like. It's kind of hard to see where the x and y intercept are, so we're going to change the dimensions of the window. Begin by pressing the window key, and we're going to change it to the following. Okay, let's try this. Hit the graph key. Okay, down along the x-axis is the x-intercept, and along the y-axis is the y-intercept. Here's how we find those exact values. Begin by pressing the second key, and then the key marked with the word trace. To find the y-intercept, we're going to use the first one, value. Press Enter. Now for putting in a value for x, we're going to put in 0. That would be exactly the y-axis. And when we put in a 0 and hit enter, our y-intercept is revealed right here where it says y equals 6. Okay, let's find the uh, x-intercept. Begin by pressing the second and trace keys. And this time we're going to go with number 2. Choose 0. Now for this one, we need to define a left bound and a right bound because the calculator needs to know where to look. So position this little, um, this little x here that blinks anywhere to the left of where it crosses the x-axis. So right there is fine. Hit enter. And then use the right facing directional arrow key and click it as many times as you need to in order to bring this little x here anywhere to the right of where it's crossing the x-axis. So not there, not there, and just a little bit more should be fine. Hit enter, and now it's going to look between those two lines and hit enter one more time. And after a second, you'll see where the x-intercept is. It's 1.7738. Now then, you'll notice that the y says negative 1e negative 12. Now that's what we call round off error, and you can just kind of interpret that to mean zero. So that means write it where y is zero, x is 1.77, and there's your x-intercept. Okay, good. So now you'll notice, though, there are actually two x-intercepts. We found the one on the right. Now there's also one on the left. Did you notice that? Maybe not, because it's negative. But if you are asked to find all of the x-intercepts, just repeat the same process and find the one on the left. Notice that the, uh, the uh, left bound is going to be just below the x-axis here. Hit enter. And scoot it up a couple clicks. There we go. And hit enter again. And enter a third time. And there is the other x-intercept. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. You can subscribe to my channel. It's aborn, A-B-O-R-N-E. I'm also on the web at andyborn.com slash math. Hope you had fun with this. Bye.